League of Legends has really been a pioneer when it comes to competitive gaming. We were the first to hit a billion views on Twitch. We were the first uh, league who franchised teams for our team organizations. Uh, we were the first league to introduce a true home and away system. And we were also the first to sell out iconic uh, arenas like Madison Square Garden and Staples Center and the Bird's Nest. And so we are today also one of the few truly globally integrated sports, not just eSport, but sports in the world. Today, there are about a thousand pro players who compete in League of Legends professional leagues and they're vying uh, for a place in our world championship, which is the kind of the crowning tournament, the jewel moment of our eSports season, which starts in October and runs about five weeks. So of the little over 100 professional teams that are competing in League of Legends eSports, 24 of those teams make it to Worlds. The so League of Legends viewership has grown year over year. Um, you know, we started League of Legends eSports back in 2011. That was our first world final, and that was part of a gaming convention. And we were in a small conference room where there was maybe about 50 attendees live. It was the first time we actually streamed uh, our eSports event. And at the time, we weren't doing it with, with any sort of sports broadcast expertise. We really just put it on Twitch. That weekend, about two million fans tuned in to watch. And that was when we realized, wow, you know, uh, there is an audience out there who really wants to watch League of Legends be a sport. They are victorious. What a fantastic sight. Going into 2012, we brought all of the esports operation, commercialization, governing body in-house to Riot, and we decided to really build from the ground up a global sport uh, for League of Legends, a sport that's really worthy of the pro players who are competing in it, for the millions of fans around the world who are tuning in. And since then, that two million viewership number has become 99.6 million. That was a record for us. I believe it's a record for the industry. And it's with viewership like that that we're really starting to see League of Legends eSports rival traditional sports. So our World Championship is coming up. Uh, this year it'll be hosted in Europe. So on October 2nd, we will kick off with our play-in stage and the tournament lasts about five weeks. So we'll start in Berlin for our play-ins and our group stages. Then we'll proceed on to Madrid for our quarterfinals and our semifinals. And all of it will culminate in Paris, uh, where our world finals will host the top two teams to compete for a chance at winning the Summoner's Cup. We are so excited to be announcing our partnership with Louis Vuitton. It is a first of its kind partnership within the eSports space, being the official trophy case of the League of Legends World Championship. The two pro teams who make it to the World Final are actually going to see the trunk alongside everybody else for the very first time at the press conference at the Eiffel Tower on November 8th. We're also working with their lead women's designer, Nicola Guesquier, to dress some of our in-game champions, as well as launching a capsule collection that fans will be able to purchase uh, later this year. Partners like Louis Vuitton, who are so iconic, who have been partnering with traditional sports like the FIFA World Cup, coming into League of Legends esports, I think it's a testament really to the impact that League of Legends and Riot Games has had on the industry as a whole. It's just evidence that, you know, esports is is rivaling what you're starting to see in uh, traditional sports. <laughs>